Until recently, this town's modest claim to fame was for being raided by Mexican revolutionary leader Francisco Pancho Villa, who sacked the town in 1916. But now Columbus, New Mexico is notorious for another kind of banditry. In March, federal authorities arrested 10 residents, including Mayor Eddie Espinosa, police chief Angelo Vega, and a village trustee, charging them with smuggling 400 guns to Mexican crime gangs, including dozens of AK-47 type automatic weapons. Espinosa and Vega pleaded guilty last month and faced long prison sentences. The town is still in shock, says new mayor Nicole Lawson. I think it rattled us to our core. And it's taken us this long to really get on our feet and continue on. Lawson discovered that Columbus was nearly broke. The books were a mess. We owed she had to cut services and lay off employees. And the town's police department was abolished completely. It's a shock and it's a disappointment because that's a position of trust. And our trust was violated. The corruption of Columbus is a telling example of the power Mexican drug gangs exert from across the border. That illicit influence extends far beyond this little border town. Mexican drug cartels are determined to infiltrate the U.S. law enforcement agency primarily responsible for stopping narcotics from getting into the country. 129 U.S. Customs and Border Patrol agents have been arrested and charged with corruption. More than 600 investigations of possible corruption are underway. Officials are deeply concerned about the integrity of the agency known as CBP. We do see an increasingly sophisticated effort on their part to identify uh, potentially corrupt persons within our workforce and to recruit persons into their workforce and direct them to apply for positions within CBP. Back in Columbus, residents say that without their own police force, they live in fear. We have reason to be scared because there's no one to protect us. Fear and corruption as Mexico's drug empires spread beyond its borders.